Samsung is a company that got involved in wearable tech very early on, and it's hoping that that extra experience can put its latest smartwatch, the Gear S2, a cut above its rivals. Let's take a look. Let's start with the biggest change, and that's the design. Samsung smartwatches up until now have had a square look, but the S2 is round, and there's a new way of navigating the device to match. So to move through options, you twist this bezel on the side a little bit like a classic diving watch. Now, most of Samsung's apps make good use of this, and because finding the best way to control smartwatches is still an industry-wide question, it's cool to see Samsung trying something new. I actually really like this mechanic. I think the company could be onto something. Feels quite cool to use. Now, the Gear S2 comes in a few flavors. As well as the standard model, there's the Gear S2 Classic, which has this luxurious leather band, and there's also going to be a 3G option which can make calls when it's not tethered to a phone. All three models are going to be dustproof and water resistant. So a question a lot of people are still asking is what exactly are you supposed to do with a smartwatch? Well, apart from tracking your activity for use in Samsung's S Health app, this device's main function will be as an extension to your phone. So it'll show you incoming calls, texts, emails, and so on without you having to pull your phone out of your pocket. So I'm intrigued by that circular navigation and the claims about battery life, but with many people still unconvinced about smartwatches and with competition really hotting up from other manufacturers, we'll be looking for some really special results when it comes to the full review. Until then, stay tuned and check out cnet.com slash for much, much more.